hello there dear youtube friends in this video i'll be teaching you guys on how to make this 3d looking glass plane as you can use for your app developments uh, design your web ending page websites ui and all of those stuff so let's go ahead and start making one so in order to do that we need to have a proper good looking background like this this is uh, the mac os big sirs uh, desktop background we are just downloaded from the internet and besides that we also need some good looking uh, app icons which can be found in the link in the description that I already give it's by the storytale.io so let's go ahead and create one the glass plane so in order to have a glass plane we need to have a proper uh, the shape yeah the shape so let's go ahead and make the shape of this oh yeah before forget let's make the translucent effect of the of the glass so in order to have the glass translucent effect we need to duplicate this background so this is the, the background here so let's go ahead and make this background looks like a glass so filter blur caution blur and 20 yep that's that's kind of good 20 pixels Okay, and then let's go ahead and make the shape itself. So I like to have the shape, this shape. But it seems not so curvy at the edges, right? What I'll do, I would like to go add more um, of the radius so that it looks more curved in the corners. So okay, that's kind of good. And if, if in case if you want to add more of the Curve, you can just add here. And next up, let's make sure this is path and make selection. Then this is your shape. What you need to do? You need to inverse the shape and remove the unwanted areas. Okay, as you can see, this is your glass plane. So this is the, this is the glass plane over here. So what you need to do? What you need to do, you need to make it more looks like a glass. So the so the edges are not so uh, what do you call it's uh, not so obvious. It's not it's not even can be seen. So what you need to do, you need to go to double click the, that particular layer, and first of all, let's go add some stroke. Some simple looking stroke would be enough. Let's make it white, and then. Let's let's give some. Let, okay, we can keep the stroke to be really very low. You can just three is just enough, and then let's reduce the opacity. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, and then let's go add some inner glow. Inner glow will can be really helpful here. So let's make this white, and let's make the size a bit bigger. A bit bigger. And let's reduce the opacity. As you can see here, it looks. As you can see, the glass effects kind of working well over this side and this side. So then, what you can do, we can just use a uh, gradient instead. It looks it looks better rather than just one single color. Then, we, if, if you can, if you want more of the opacity, go ahead. You can just have it. So but then I'll just like to keep it very low, like about 30. 30 would do. Okay. The size you can go up to maximum size. Okay. I think yeah, that's all for the glass plane. So let's go ahead add some uh, app icons, which I downloaded from the internet. So I'd like to place these app icons right in the center to make it look like it's a app, I mean glass plane which can be used for your app designing and stuff. And then next up, let's go add some wordings. For example, like I would like to add, uh, let's say, Mac. OS big sorry big 
mixer that would do just just this uh, sample it's a simple wording this is sure to so make it look like it's a glass plane okay guys there you have it it's the glass plane that we wanted to create now we have made it so thank you guys for watching and hope you guys will learn something here nothing from here and please feel free to send your feedback to this video under the comment section so thank you guys again let's meet up in the next coming episode thanks